हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योत्स्ना पारगावकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्टुडंट्स आय वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस लेक्चर ऑन नायट्रोजन कंटेनिंग कंपाऊंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू सी अमीन्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अमीन्स वेरियस एक्झाम्पल स्ट्रक्चर्स अँड इट्स नेम अकॉर्डिंग टू द आय यू पी एस सी नॉमिन क्लेचर अँड कॉमन नेम्स अमीन्स अमीन्स आर द डेरिवेटिव्ह ऑफ अमोनिया वेन दी वन ऑर मोर हायड्रोजन ॲटम्स आर रिप्लेस्ड फ्रॉम अमोनिया विथ अल्काईल ऑर अरायल ग्रुप्स वी गेट अमीन्स अमीन्स आर फर्दर क्लासिफाईड इन टू फॉलोइंग ग्रुप्स दॅट इज अ प्रायमरी अमीन्स सेकंडरी अमीन अँड टर्शरी अमीन दिस क्लासिफिकेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ अल्किल ऑर अरायल सबस्टिट्युटेड सबस्टिट्युशन ऑन नायट्रोजन ॲटम दी वॉट डू इन बाय दॅट प्रायमरी अमीन प्रायमरी अमीन्स आर ऑप्टेंड वेन वन हायड्रोजन ॲटम इन अमोनिया इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय एनी अल्काईल ऑर अरायल ग्रुप्स स्टुडंट सी ऑन द स्क्रीन देर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमोनिया इफ वी रिप्लेस्ड वन हायड्रोजन ॲटम बाय आर आर मीन्स अल्काईल ग्रुप देन वी आर गेटिंग द प्रायमरी आय मीन मीन्स रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ वन हायड्रोजन ॲटम बाय अल्काईल ग्रुप and if we replaced one hydrogen atom by aryl groups we are getting aromatic primary amines these are the aliphatic and this one are the aromatic so if here in case of aliph aliphatic primary amine if r is the methyl group then name of this compound will be methyl and ending with amine if r is the ethyl group then the name will be the ethyl amine now c student if nh2 group is attached to the phenyl ring this is the phenyl ring okay so then the name of this compound is aniline and aniline is the aromatic primary amine nh2 group is there na so what is nh2 group is linked to or attached to phenyl ring so this example comes under aromatic primary amine see next slide on next slide we will see the secondary amine so secondary amine means when the two hydrogen atoms from the ammonia are replaced by alkyl or aryl group or both then we are getting the secondary amine again here two types are there aliphatic secondary amine and aromatic aliphatic means hydrocarbon radical will be there and aromatic means phenyl rings will be there then we will call it as aromatic secondary amine so let's see the example what are the examples for this if both these are are methyl group then its name will be methyl groups so that's why the name is methyl but prefix will be di because two methyl group stands for di so name will be the di methyl and ending will be amine now see the next example here one r is ethyl group and second r is methyl group so now in this example both the r groups are different one is methyl another one is ethyl so students here we have to follow the alphabetical order so alphabetical order means methyl and ethyl e come first so that's why you have to write the ethyl later on methyl and amine let's see on the screen there is a one structure what is that structure this one that is a benzene ring means phenyl ring it is the attached to the nitrogen and that nitrogen is further attached to the methyl group so here two substituents are there first one is what the methyl and phenyl so in the previous slide we have seen the 
this is nothing but aniline correct so what is this methyl group is substituent so name will be the methyl aniline see next point is the tertiary amine in tertiary amine all the three hydrogen atoms students see this is the ammonia molecule all the three hydrogen atoms are replaced by alkyl group then it will be like that we will see this structure alkyl group so what will be this this will be the aliphatic tertiary amine if all the three hydrogen atoms are replaced by methyl group then name will be tri is the prefix because three methyl groups are there so that's why the tri methyl amine now if all the three hydrogen atoms means this are replaced by ethyl group then name will be tri because three and ethyl group that's why ethyl amine now see the aromatic tertiary amine in that we can see that c6h5 means phenyl ring so how many phenyl groups are there three so three means tri phenyl as it is i have wrote and amine is suffix now see the next slide now we have seen here the classification so what are the rules for the nomenclature means now we have to give the names to the structures to the examples for that purpose some rules are there so some rules will be for common names and some will be for iupac names so common names will be c look at that initially the structure this structure what is that structure nh2 group is attached to the propyl group correct so what are the rules in case of common system you just observe the how many alkyl substituents are there and for that you arrange that alphabetical order all the substituent alkyl substituent and you have to end with amine so let's see here only the one substituent is there alkyl substituent what is that propyl so name is alkyl substituent propyl and ending with that is a suffix we have to use amine so i use the amine again see the second example this is the first this is the second one what is that second now second is here nitrogen atom this nitrogen atom is attached here see here nitrogen is attached at one side to the methyl group at another side it is to the ethyl group means two alkyl substituents are there so here you have to follow the alphabetical order which comes first e so that's why the name is ethyl for second substituent what is the name methyl so i will write the methyl and next ending with that is a suffix with amine now look at that st third structure what is that third structure third structure is what is this third structure tell me in that structure we will observe that this carbon atom is attached to the at one side to the nitrogen and at another side it is to the carbon atoms so listen here simple is there nh2 group is attached to the tertiary butyl group nh2 group is attached to the this nh2 group is attached to the tertiary butyl group so i will write tertiary butyl amine this is the tertiary butyl amine now next one student can you tell me what will be the name for that nh2 group it is the attached to the how many carbon atom 3 means propane actually but we have to write the alkyl substituent means it becomes propyl give the numbering 1 what will be the numbering 1 2 3 like that will be the numbering correct first second and third so name will be what so name will be what 1 2 and this will be your third to chloro this is the propyl amine check yes this is the correct one to chloro propyl amine now we will see the rules for the iupac names so in case of that iupac name student listen what we have to, you have to see you have to just see that longest chain see everyone for the first structure what is the longest chain longest chain is what 
here will be what is that longest chain 1 2 and 3 so give the numbering to the carbon which is attached to the nitrogen atom this is the first rule now second rule is what third rule that is the suffix e we have to replaced by amine as a word so students see here here is the one so name will be the one propan amine in case of this structure what will be that actually this will be the main substituent and this will be the smaller substituent so name will be the n i have wrote n means nitrogen substituent is there so at nitrogen atom methyl group is there and parent hydrocarbon will be ethan amine now in this case we will give the numbering how we will give the numbering 1 2 and 3 at two position methyl group is there okay at two position which group is there methyl group is there and at two position amine group is there so 1 2 2 methyl and 2 propanamine 2 dash methyl 2 dash propanamine like that will be the naming student can you tell me the iupac nomenclature for last compound what is that yes select the longest chain what is that longest chain longest chain will be this will be the first second and third two chloro so that's why i have wrote two dash chloro and at one position amine groups are there that's why group is there that's why one propanamine so in this way we have learned the some rules of common names and as well as iupac name and some structure classification of that so next part we will see in the next lecture thank you